out here in Katarman on some of the islands. And uh, I just thought I'd share a bit of the street scene in front of the uh, Northern Lights restaurant. Northern Lights has, I believe, three locations on the island. Uh, I can't think of where the other two are because I just got here, I guess, two days ago. And I've been pretty occupied here with my time, but I figured why not? Uh, share a little bit of this part of the island that uh, may not get as much uh, attention or uh, tourism as, uh, say, Mambahau uh, or Gunsolano, or something like that, uh, where the port is. So Mambahau is where you can catch the ferry, uh, the Banca, to White Island. And there are quite a few resorts over there. Uh, and then, of course, Gunsolano, I believe it's called. Um, that's where a lot of, that's where the uh, ferry drops off for, uh, oh. Sorry. Oh. Hi, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, uh, I will check out the menu really quick. That was just the uh, restaurant, uh, I guess, manager or owner. She mentioned that they were out of the dish that I had ordered, uh, so I interchanged it for uh, fried chicken. And uh, I absolutely love fried chicken, so that's not a problem with me. She was incredibly, uh, incredibly gracious and courteous. And uh, the food's really good here, so I absolutely recommend, if you're on Cummigan Island, to check out one of their three locations. They're pretty evenly dispersed, so uh, if you do get around the island a bit, you should run into at least one location. Uh, I'm not sure about the other locations, but this one is open until 8 p.m. And actually, I believe, is the, uh, has the latest, uh, latest opening time uh, in this area of, of the restaurant. So, or latest closing time, I should say. Um, I want to say they open around... Well, their official opening time is like 10 a.m., but uh, when I um, overheard the owner or manager speaking, she mentioned 9.30 a.m. Uh, so to be safe, I would say around 10 a.m. I, I don't see that they're serving uh, breakfast, so uh, it's definitely worth keeping in mind uh, for lunch or for dinner. I was kind of surprised because at first I thought uh, it would be the first time I'm getting asked to uh, to stop filming, but uh, in fact I wasn't. Uh... Just trying to move it around. I saw a guy welding, and from what I've heard, that can be really hard on the eyes. So I want to uh, want to shield our eyes from that.
I haven't been in there, but uh, it's called St. Nicholas Pharmacy. And uh, next door on the left, they have actually a bake shop. They have various baked goods. Uh, this is the holiday, so you can imagine they're probably selling a lot. And uh, depending on the timing, they may not have uh, as much selection as uh, you might anticipate, simply just because they're doing a lot of business and, and they sell obviously very popular products. They're one of the busier bake shops I've seen here in Kataman. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. I've been going uh, into that bake shop actually, uh, not so much for baked goods, uh, but to pick up bottled water. They, they have, I believe, like a 20 ounce or 17 ounce for uh, 10 pesos, about 20 cents US. Or you can get a liter bottle uh, for about 20 cents, uh, or sorry, about 40 cents, um, 20 pesos. Uh, so, worth keeping in mind if you need water. I think water can be sometimes kind of hard to find um, in this area, so uh, you, you want to definitely buy more than what you think you'll need to make sure that you account for uh, the downtime, you know, time where you're thirsty and you need water but you haven't quite found it. You want to you want to make sure you're hydrated because this island gets pretty hot and you're going to sweat a lot and uh, the sun beats down pretty you know, hard, so if you're not in the shade, you're going to, you know, you're gonna sweat a lot. I mean, I grew up in the South, currently live in the South, and it's hot there, but uh, it uh, it's even hotter here. Um, so so definitely be, uh, be cautious and be careful. Um, stay really hydrated.